Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Don't look now. But it would appear as though titty interest has resulted in sweeping changes to Twitch's terms of service. And I'm honest enough to admit upfront that I've little more to contribute to this situation than a smile. The Twitch situation in a nutshell is that a masculine lady shook her knockers on stream and after brand new little kid accounts were revealed to be recommended these streams, Twitch has clarified what is allowed on their platform reading directly erotic dances that involve disrobing or disrobing gestures such as strip teases. They further clarify popular dances such as twerking, grinding, and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Like this video and comment to push it up, but please, correct my less than nuanced take below if necessary. I'm only human after all, and saying things like that make it more convincing, right? It would seem as though the actions of a sturdy-shouldered madam has led to a more Coomer-oriented Twitch as it evolves ever closer to its only fans iteration. I conferred with many specialists and we've tested Twitch to tell you it's at the very least going to create a much more based stream environment. Uh, hopefully in time I'll be able to showcase some of the art that YouTube would never allow here. It's just a shame that many more young men are gonna get wormholed into those money vacuums. Money vacuums. Oh, I guess you wonder where I've been. I'm sorry. I'm honestly sorry I'm not begging people to like and subscribe more often because you guys deserve a bigger community, but I think I refuse to tiptoe around things I'm not supposed to talk about even though they're factual. It's like Call of Duty developers mad that their campaign is factually short, but every day, from some other angle, people treat real life like it's a hypocrite Olympics. And uh, it's not okay when we do it, but it's okay when they do it, you know what I mean? This point may seem irrelevant, and good, get used to it. Because without condoning drugs on the side of our Lord Chris Chan and the holy white savior ghosts at Insomniac Games, I think that drugs make the Olympics more entertaining. Probably any sport, you know what I mean? <laughs> Since they're already doing it behind the scenes anyway, why not let these tuning exams be a real test of our different super soldier serum concoctions? I have to share an anecdote with you that might not have occurred to you. Looking at this woman objectively, especially from outside of the United States of pronouns, it's easy to realize that someone might have believed this person to be a transgender person that was getting away with topless streams, even though they had implants because, you know, they were uh, they special. This was not the case, by the way. This is all woman. She works out, clearly. Now, the reason that's amusing to bring up is because in the details of the change clarification from Twitch, the inclusive term female presenting kept getting used over and over again to highlight, of course, that what you may be is irrelevant because on Twitch, what you present as is what is relevant. So if I slapped on a wig, got some implants, shook the goods and kept my nipples out of frame, I could do that as well as draw men and women nude cock tits ass as long as it's not sexual and it is what they have defined as artistic nudity skipping past the noise of what everybody else is going to talk about can i just uh can i appreciate this as something in the way of a stepping stone you know yeah it may not be great you know for for people as a whole but as a recognition of views driving the content Regardless of what pearl clutchers demand, you know, I've, I've recognized normal horny to be toxic, but queer horny exclusively is what they cheer for and champion. That's why Baldur's Gate nudity is A-OK, -okay, but D-O-A, beach volleyball, no way, evil, right? Jin's ass and Ghost of Tsushima, A-OK, -okay, cause he's a man. But lady ass in anything? Ooh, ah, mm, no. Even when it's covered, whoa, that seems too deep. Ah, oh, it should be, there should just be a flat surface, an ironing board, because that's what I'm like back there. Gotta blur it up, gotta lens flare it for the, the Western modern version, right? Specifically, Sony typically 
making sweeping changes to clothing and body models because fat old radical pronoun cult bitches out here ruining the appeal of everything that they touch. But I'm a big enough motherfucker to forgive them. You know why? Because it's not deliberate in all of their cases. Some of them are just cucked and they're doing what they hope will get their dick sucked. But others don't even realize that they're turning something to shit and making it more like them. I can forgive because the hell that they personally put themselves in, they themselves, must be rough enough as it is. But good golly, beta tester, my throbbing assessment all for you is that I measure and record these Twitch changes as normal, horny. To touch on the meta that we're seeing, the topless meta, moving forward, we're asking people that appear to be naked or appear to be topless to make sure that they're using the sexually sexual theme content classification label. They named it. They said the topless meta. I watched a lot of VTubers test the waters on this because naturally the question was, can I now show my AI art without getting in trouble? But from what uh, some of the VTubers did, it doesn't look like they are allowed to go topless and shake their digitally crafted bits. So the quote topless meta is only for uh, female presenting uh, streamers that are confident enough to physically get themselves on camera and show that stuff, apparently. How much might YouTube need to suffer before they get with the mature program of actually giving people who are clicking a button to subscribe for something what they're actually looking for without forcing their creator? It's their platform. They, they can do whatever the hell they want. But sometimes whatever the hell they want is to make the most money and generate the most views. And if those views are going somewhere, things are a little bit more relaxed than goddamn. Like I said, Kyle's initial reaction was simply to smile. I liked this change. I considered it amusing and maybe sensing its potential for chaos, hoped that certain amusing things would come out of it. But take everything that I just said and just forget it because Twitch has already rolled back their changes. So it's as if everything that I've said for the past 7 minutes and 30 seconds was just like pointless. It'd almost be funny if it wasn't so stupid. But in the same way I steer clear of that live streamer culture where kids are using the term banned for people that are actually just suspended for a few days. It's like, miss me with all of this cancer, bro. Tell me when things get based again. For the couple of minutes that, you know, they are, and then and then those changes are reverted. Uh, those OnlyFans girls still got away with it, huh? They didn't even need to be 10 out of 10s! They just needed to be there. And they got all that attention. You put those clothes back on, you dirty motherfuckers. Unless you're a lady. In which case, you can get away with anything. But you gotta be a real lady. No, 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 that's offensive. Any, any female uh, presenting... So, it's inclusive. You're welcome. Did you hear that The Last of Us multiplayer mode was cancelled? Oh no! Of course, people like me weren't excited about garbage like that, but I am excited about the reaction from people who were really upset that their new Battle Pass version of Last of Us isn't coming. Oh no! I'm afraid it was eating up important resources that should be going to remakes and remasters. That's where the resources need to be going, so all the reing that you're doing will not affect the re-somethings that are making these games, homie. If you're not showing me you in your glorious bathing suit, beta tester, please, whenever you see salt online, just throw that in the Discord. I'll, I'll elevate the reaction room so you know that it's something that I'm sifting through. My god, these losers at their game award show are given Neil Druckmann the opportunity to take the stage and say whatever the hell he wants when they're hurrying all the game developers who actually made games off the stage. Every time you and I see a remake or a remaster, we can't help but think, damn, nigga, these may need their own category. But of course that's not something that occurs to the tourist sweet baby normies that fill out the juries on these wannabe Hollywood award shows. Cringe. I wager you've noticed something in the way of a shift yourself. Suddenly the silent are speaking up, 
They are now frustrated enough to give the people they have long tolerated a dose of their own medicine because of how poisonous these pigs have become. They're not getting their way and they're actively cannibalizing each other. Devs are spending time writing 50 tweet essays that amount to whining about how hard video game development is. As if any gamer who paid for garbage gives a shit to dumb things down into a language more palatable for a modern game developer, an analogy of paying for food only to receive noticeably cold diarrhea seems to fit in this context. To have these dimwit developers argue about how hard cooking is, to imply that because we are not chefs, we should be quiet because how could we know what good food tastes like? Oh, our opinions are invalid, you fucking moron. Even though we paid for the food to sustain us, not to be poisoning us with this uncooked poop soup that you swine are calling video games. These entitled entities love children because they wish they were cute. Or, or, or maybe, you know, if you were wealthy enough, people would tolerate your stupid bullshit as well. But ignorance and, and being a parasite is not something that we should consider endearing on your behalf. Keep trying to condition people not to call out the defective shit they paid for. Because you're continuing to wake up Kyle's that are actually as cruel as you like to pretend that I am. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to patiently wait and strike when the time is right. They're going to patiently collect what they need to collect in the way of showing just how much of a hypocrite you are. And oh my God, they're going to learn from you. They learn from watching you how to and like I said, maybe we don't need to do anything. A lot of you guys are your own demise. The triggered in their networks are being exposed for their wisps as the powerless losers. They are across the industry, across all industries, you know? It, what's sad is we're becoming apathetic to their shtick. It's not just that they're woke and it's cringe and it's tame and it's lame. It's that their gimmick is now irrefutably unprofitable. Sony gobbled up Bungie's punk ass real good and will now puppet it as it sees fit. Pray it does not alter the deal further. I couldn't stop thinking about the Imperial March the day that, you know, all of that fine print came out where the, oh, Bungie doesn't get to have its knitting classes anymore. And no, people are really mad because the diversity Nazis have been fired. Oh no, I'm sure this might result in better games and, and everybody would hate that, right? You know, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Guerrilla Games, they're all producing woke slop these days, which isn't captivating the normies as sustainably as they think it is. But as with everything, I'm more than willing to allow the passage of time to offer people insight. I grow more and more excited for Sushi Squad, the upcoming blunder from Rocksteady Games, because just like Saints Row, just like Avengers, I know it'll be an educational experience for the industry. It is my belief that putting the fear of Bud Light into these brands will produce higher quality experiences. So for being on this journey with me, I thank you. Null of Clintar, Fool Rhythm, and Neil, thank you guys so much for the support and Fortnite song gifts. It's clearly something that's making me happy after a while, you know, I used to play the crap out of those rock band games and it's just a a nice itch that's being scratched the way that Hogwarts Legacy was for people who were into a harmless and fun experience. You don't have to jiggle alone. My username is YouTube underscore Kyle. Hopefully some experiences come out that we can all set our watch to together. Join the Discord, stay informed, and to all the patrons, thank you. You guys are literally keeping the lights on. Get into the wish list. Go judge some of the things that I have on there if you're not going to clean it out with your Mr. Moneybags ass. You know what I mean? Top hat monocle wearing motherfucker. See you later. And I just can't